I'm Michelle Wynn, and my pieces are Galatea and Adolescent Philosophies on Love. Where do you get your inspiration from? Okay, so it's varied because there are pieces where I'll be reading and I'll think, you know, a lot of what ifs. Like Galatea, I was reading something about um, Greek myths. So in my head, I was thinking, what if this happened? So I just kind of sat down and wrote about it. And then for other pieces, it's more of personal experience. So for example, Adolescent Philosophies on Love was a piece I wrote because um, I was kind of reflecting on what I thought love was when I was little. What's your writing process like? Um, if you have one. Okay, it's, I'll be totally honest, it's word vomit. <laughs> so I'll sit down, just rant about my feelings, and then I'll kind of take like an emotional break where I'll just like get up and then I'll sit back down and I'll be like, okay, now where do I go from this? And then I just kind of format it into words. And a lot of times I look up words that I feel really mean something to me mm -hmm. because I feel like poetry, which is what I usually write, um, there's a lot of words that have really powerful meanings. So that's what I try to include in my poetry. So the both of your poems uh, both deal with like similar topics like love and like the sort of dangers of it kind of mm -hmm. in some of them. Um, is that something you enjoy writing about and why that topic? Um, well, I've always been a hopeless romantic. So like I said, Adolescent Philosophies in Love was, was a poem that I wrote about my childhood and you know, I think a lot of times I was kind of thinking about, you know, Prince Charming and, you know, Disney princesses, like this whole idea of someone coming in to save you. And so that's what I kind of thought about. And, you know, sometimes people advocate against love, which was something that I didn't know whether I should believe, like, the negative side of love, like the heartbreak, or about the happiness. So I guess it it's part of my personality. I mean, I don't always write about love, but I, I enjoy writing about it. Okay. Um, I wanted you to explain the first stanza of Adolescent Philosophies on Love. It's the one, like, the old men yawning, mm -hmm. and the, what was it, April throwing up March, or something like that. It's, it's different than the rest of the poem, and I was wondering what it meant. Um, well, I wrote the poem in March, April, and, um... I think in my head, because I am a hopeless romantic, I think of, you know, not just young love, but then when that love kind of ages. And so I'm thinking of, you know, myself talking to an older, more experienced person. And, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, tell me what it's like to have someone, you know, that you experience every moment with, like yawning. Like, it seems like something so small, but if you really love someone, I think it, it's something really powerful just being with that person at all times, even, even when they're yawning. So, and then, yeah. Very nice.